Hey people, good afternoon or whatever time it is where you are. A um, little bit of progress on the berries. I planted all of them, so for some reason I'm feeling like super fatigued today. I'm really tired, so I'm probably not going to be out here too much longer, but I still want to work on the pond a little bit. Um, but anyway, I planted all of the little berries and stuff that I got from Walmart. <laughs> um, this is the grape. Uh, let me see what kind it is again. The seed, it's a seedless flame grape. So we'll see how that does. Um, and then over here we have the Apache thornless blackberries, which I've heard blackberries actually do pretty well in Arizona. We'll see. Um, I was reading also that they put out runners on the ground, so as you can see, I only dug this little hole. If they put out any more runners, they're going to have issues making it through that hard, rocky soil. But I am planning on excavating this area and extending it out a little farther because this is my whole garden area, so I'm just doing little patches at a time. So maybe it'll be okay by the time I get all of this ground uh, with better soil and more loose. So yep, that's the blackberry. Grape. Lyra was really helpful with digging these holes. She's uh, uh, doing it like it's her job. Um, she loves coming out here with me every day and digging. So here's the blueberry. Um, that is Tiff Blue. Yeah, Tiff Blue variety. And then I planted not too far apart the raspberry. And I did that intentionally because I don't know. Well, this is a heritage raspberry. So I know they're pretty close, but I don't know. They, they're similar in uh, the soil components that they need and the watering. So if they really start to take off, then maybe I'll try and move them or relocate them. But if not, then no loss, really. I did cage them in because I don't want them to get stepped on. I'm going to cage these in, too, so that the dogs and stuff don't trample over them. But... Yep, I was able to plant everything, and I did, like, partial sun for the blueberry, and then these are pretty much full sun. Um, this area of the yard is mainly in the shade all day, so they're not going to get, like, basically in Arizona, what I consider, like, partial sun is actually full sun, so anytime a plant says, like, full sun, I do partial, or in any time it says partial sun, I do shade, because Arizona is, like, extreme with the heat and the sun here. Um, anyway, so, yep, got grape, blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. We'll see how they do. And then I did get my pond liner yesterday. And this is how it looks, so I definitely have to reshape things. And I might end up doing it long ways instead of, like, horizontal long ways, instead of how it's vertically placed. But, um, or I might just expand the deepest area there and then build up the soil around. I don't know yet. We'll see. We will see. Um, I was thinking about putting, like, a little waterfall feature in the corner that's going to be difficult with the little amount of liner that I have so I might need to just either purchase another liner or rework this if I want that added. Um, so yeah this is how it looks right now. Pretty excited to get things moving along here and uh, I did get the t I got the world's smallest solar powered pump <laughs> this probably isn't gonna do much look at the tiny little filter in there 
It's got a tiny little filter. So, I'm gonna just play around with that, but I mean, look at it. It's like a tiny little baby solar pump, so we'll see. See how much water it pushes through. Probably not a lot, so I'll have to get a new one, a bigger one. But yeah, that's the update on how things are going with the pond and the garden. <clears throat> I was thinking about planting some carrots and lettuce and everything, but I need more um, potting soil for that, garden soil. And I only had enough to do the berries. And um, I also just have to dig this whole area, which I am very tired today, so I'm probably not going to do any of that. Um, probably just going to focus on the pond and then homework for the rest of the day. It's my last day off too, so I go back to work tomorrow, which I'm dreading. <laughs> Even though my job isn't too bad, but still I enjoy doing this stuff more. And honestly, if I didn't have like homework and everything, I'd probably be doing this like 24-7, so... But yeah, um, Lyra has been loving the past few days because we've been outside pretty much all day and I've been playing with her and she's been helping me dig, um, so that's been pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, um, hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.